assigned an energy to research and uh, we talked to people from all over the world. And we um, got a guideline for research and we got to go to different resources. We basically looked on the computer for different types of energy and once we were assigned our energies we worked a lot online. We planned, we made voice threads, and we communicated over this thing called wiki spaces which was a great help to help us be able to communicate to everyone in a simple way. And look up research and we got to lay it out and put it on our wiki for everyone to see and then we built um, a voice thread off of that. We looked at different types of energy like and how they are produced and like how they can be used and the positive and negative effects of that energy. We tried to basically persuade people into wanting to use our energy. We had a debate about it. We like all talked t together and we shared our ideas and um, our arguments about the other energies. It was a chance to talk with other people about the same stuff that we're learning and it was different perspectives. So we were able to come together and just discuss what would be the best thing. So welcome to uh, the 150 students from five different schools in three countries who've been involved with this fantastic project. And uh, we should be ready to start very, very shortly. So biomass isn't a very good energy. It produces a lot of greenhouse gases and it actually takes more energy to prepare than making the actual energy than it creates. So it's kind of, there's a big drawback by that. Wind energy is a really good way to make like a large scale, like just a yeah, large uh, amount of energy to power like homes and uh, the turbines may cost a lot, but they pay for themselves easily. And uh, they don't take very much space up on the ground and you can pretty much place them anywhere. How else would they get their energy? I mean, I'm saying like it's not very efficient. You can't always rely on it. Well, the uh, the wind turbines don't take that much to power them to make a lot of energy. Actually starting to install wind turbines on the tops of some of the buildings in Hobart. Now, um, they, these turbines actually generate enough energy to power that building. And I mean, and the, the wind energy never runs out. Uh, as long as the sun is still here, the, there's always wind. Hydrogen energy is very expensive to use. It also uh, is very dangerous because it explodes and it's very unsafe working conditions to make a vehicle or a, something that uses hydrogen. It's true, however, if you take the proper precautions and, like, and you, it is not very dangerous if you take the proper precautions. And, like, challenging which made it really fun and uh, sometimes challenging things can be not very fun but this was one of those challenging things that was really enjoyable. What was very challenging was kind of getting everybody to be on the same track on the same page. You know, every, everyone was trying to do something different and it was pretty difficult especially if, since we're on different time zones. Um, the voice threads probably the most challenging because it was really hard to make and we had a lot of problems with it. I think the communication with everybody from across the globe was difficult and to get everything done on time and be able to um, coordinate with each other about what, to, what needs to be done and who's doing what. Um, I enjoyed looking at my final project and being able to see how much work went into it and um, how much, how far we've come from since the first day that we started with her nothing. It is open ended, we gotta do our own research and. It made us more aware of how many different resources we had in the world and how useful they can actually be. I learned a lot about not only the energy group I was assigned to, but 
I learned about energy groups that I didn't even know existed. I learned how to use the technology that we have today and how to communicate and put it to good use. So that way, instead of just working with two or three people inside your classroom, we were able to work with two or three people in two different countries. Also, um, how to work with a group that you're not with in the classroom. Like, in a career, you probably have to work with people over the internet a lot, like through email and stuff like that, and on projects, and to get stuff done. Before, I didn't really have a, much of an idea of what energy was and how much it affected me and now I understand it more and I see how much of a big part of it is in my life. And it gave us experience on helping working with other people from, that you may not exactly be used to working with and know and having to work with people in different countries like you are going to have to in high school, college and when you get out of high school and hopefully have a job. Um, it shows it shows me how to work with other people and not just do things by myself because you have to work with groups in life often. So it really showed me that uh, you have to be able to cooperate and you can't just take over at all times. Opens my ideas to new jobs and the things that I can do. A step up almost to making the world a better place whenever we grow up because then we'll already have this knowledge and then we can put it to good use.